since we already know about the use effect hook there is another similar kind of hook which is called use layout effect <laughs> seems like a similar thing but these are having a very minute and important difference for that let's click here so use layout effect signature is exactly identical to use effect but it fires synchronously for all DOM mutations and what synchronously that means use layout effect will going to run after all the DOM mutation it fires synchronously after all DOM mutation very important thing and it says the preferred standard use effect when possible to avoid visual blocking and we will see what visual blocking is so first let's understand how this use effect work we have this application and here we will go to this images component and in this images component we already have one use effect but we are not going to touch this one instead we will create a new use effect and i'm going to say log and it's like i am use effect very easy then what i'm going to do i'm going to log inside this jsx so that i can check when it is re-rendering re-rendering actually okay so i can say i am jsx okay so now let's try this inside this console of this edge browser i'm using currently if i refresh this page you can see first it's running the i am jsx then i am use effect that's for the mounting what happened if i update the component so there is some changes in the state and you can see use effect is running after the update after the re-rendering of the jsx okay one more thing we can check we have a remove button and remove function is there and here in this remove function we are having we are changing the state so just after changing the state i can log that i am changing state okay now let's try this so obviously there is no change so there is no lock for the change of state but when i remove the image first you can see first it's changing the state this happened because there is a change in the state the component re-rendered and when the component re-render then the use effect is going to trigger okay that's good but to show you the difference between use effect and use layout effect i'm going to create another use effect and fun first i call it use effect one and then this one is use effect two as expected we can see we are having the first as use effect one and then use effect two why because we have written in that way first this one is going to run and second this one but magic happened when i'm going to change this use effect to use layout effect for the second one not for the first one for the second one and this is going to be magical you can see the second is logging first and then the use effect one and this is going to be happen when i update the component so when the component is updated then i am use effect 2 is logged then i am use effect 1 but why this is happening to explain these things let me take you to these examples here you can see in this diagram we have a component component rendering is started due to some changes in the state and when the component re-rendered after re-rendering that re-rendered component should be painted in the browser and after that when the react is completely painted the re-rendered component into the screen then only use effect is going to run so 
when IMJSX is done that means the image is totally removed from the browser from the visuals then only use effect is going to work but what about the use layout effect same component re-rendered due to state change component re-rendered that's okay but as soon as the component re-rendered then the use layout effect runs it doesn't care about the re-rendered component is painted into the browser or not the main difference is here use effect wait for the component to be printed on the screen but use layout effect doesn't wait for the component to be printed in the screen it says okay component is re-rendered let's now run the use layout effect but use effect says I'm going to wait when it is going to be printed in the screen okay so this is a very very important difference between the use effect and use layout effect